Hello everyone, Quinnifer here, and welcome to my Thomas and Friends UK DVD collection. This is going to take a while, because there's a lot to show today, and I believe I've got every single mainstream release, except for promotional stuff. I mean, I've got a few promo DVDs, but we'll show them at the end. But we're going to start off straight away, I don't want to take up your time, so let's just crack on. We're going to start off with Thomas and the Magic Railroad, this is a weird flip case thingy, I'll show that in a second. Um, yeah, this movie's, um, average, to say the least. It's not the best movie, but it does have some good songs, like, I Know How the Moon Must Feel and stuff like that. You've got a, um, scene index here, and you've got the original disc, which is kind of cool, and it shots like this. And if I can do that, there you go, clicks into place, and that's pretty much it for that one. Next up, we have another copy of Thomas and Magic Railroad. This is a re-release, and this was signed by Thomas Van 261. That's why it says Sean with a smiley face. So, yeah, um, a while back he sold me some VHS and DVDs. This was back in 2021. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. And he's got a little message in here. Hope you enjoy Thomas Van 261, Sean. And there you go. There is a disc. And that's pretty much it, and I've kept it because, you know, I like Sean's content, so shout out to Sean. If you're not subscribed to him already, make sure you are. Last Thomas and the Magic Railroad DVD we've got is the Woolworths Worth It release of it. Um, yeah, I literally only got this because it's, you know, Woolworths, and the disc is pretty much the same as the last one, but that is pretty much it for that one. So, yeah, we move along. Okay, moving on to the first classic series DVD we got on, yeah, on DVD and on VHS. Well, not the first VHS, but first DVD. PP Party. Um, I prefer the VHS aesthetic of this. Uh, I know it's, I think, I believe uh, this one's got um, extra stuff on it, I believe, unless that's the, unless that's the other uh, VHS version. I don't know. I can't remember. And there is that amazing disc. Yeah. Cool. Truck loads of fun next. Um, you know what? Despite the cover being quite mid, I do like the gradient on, on the front, back, and spine. Um, got accidents will happen there and some screenshots of the episodes. And we have, we actually have um, one of these in here. And it looks like there's a Bob the Builder thing in there too. Um, quickly show you that. What's in here? Yeah, tells you about the episodes and cool. And there is the disc. Very nice. I don't know why I own this, but I do. It's the truckloads of fun um, carry case in a purple carry case, to be to be precise. And it's very similar to the uh, the standard one I just showed before. And there is a disc. And I believe this is the only carry case version I own. I know there's loads, and I, was, I saw one in a charity shop recently, but I didn't get it. And I remember, again, ironically, Sean was selling a bunch, but I decided not to get them because I don't really want them, to be honest. Right, yeah, I'm going to do both together. We've got two copies of Seasonal Scrapes here. If you can't tell, that's got a yellow byline. That's got a white byline. And then we go to the spines. Pretty much the same. And this is where the difference lies. You've got the episodes like that, and you've got the DVD like that. I've actually got both variants on VHS as well, so that's kind of cool as well. Um, yeah, there's some very notable differences, but I've got both because of the packaging. Uh, there's a disc for that one. And here is the disc with here, and you know you've got the thing here. I'll show. You. I might as well show this to you. Ah, it's got a little. It's a, yeah, it's pretty much a full blown booklet. Yeah, it just tells you a bit about everything. That is very nice indeed. Next up, we've got Fogman. This is also on VHS, just like most of these DVDs I'm showing right now. They're on VHS as well. Um, really like this release. Iconic. Nostalgic, whatever you want to call it. And um, there's the disc there. And there's a little booklet thing there. Or just a pamphlet, whatever you want to call it. Just a little poster thingy. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. Now, this isn't Fogman. I mean, yes, it, the case is Fogman. But the difference I've got is this. It's a shiny text. If I just pull back the other one for a second. Uh, it, as you can see, it's not a shiny one. But this one is shiny. But... I will tell you now, this is not a copy of Fogman inside the case. In fact, it's a copy of the Tomy Thomas the Jet Engine DVD, which I believe came with a Tomy Jet Engine set. So, and there's another one there. I don't need to show that again because there's already one there. But yeah, shiny, 
still. Cool enough. Chocolate Crunch. Um, I've already mentioned it before. Why is Thomas there? And, you know, why is he not down here and Percy should be there? I mean, it makes sense, but, you know, this one actually has the Fogman, not Fogman, this has, um, sorry, the jet engine on it. And, um, yeah, I, I could have I could have put it in this case, but, you know, and there you go. I know in America and Australia they call it the jet engine, but we try to market it somewhere else, but we try to use Chocolate Crunch as the market. Don't know why, but there you go. Brave Little Engines, as seen on CITV. Very cool. Uh, was that a Nick Jr. logo? Yes, it was. Very nice. And, um, yeah, just a DVD release. That's an awesome VHS. This disc is very nice. I do like that a lot. And we've got a pamphlet here. Uh, I'll get that out for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a piece of paper, double-sided. And, yeah. Cool. Here I have two copies of The Very Best of Thomas and Friends. Uh, this, is a, this is the original. This is a Marks and Spencer version. I want the VHS version of the Marks and Spencer one. I did see one up for sale a while ago, but I missed it. Uh, there's a spine for that one. In the back. Yeah. There's the disc. And little booklet thing here. And there's a Growing Up With Thomas thing in here. Um, I'm not going to show the whole thing, but if you've not got that in yours, then you might as well look for one with one in it. And um, as for the Marks and Spencer version, um, very similar, but it's just got a Marks and Spencer byline. And you guessed it, there's a Marks and Spencer logo in there on the disc. So yeah, kind of cool that they had their own little version of it, but yeah, cool. Happy Little Helpers, nice shiny text there. Again, this is also on VHS, like most of these ones to start me off. And there is the disc nice engines to the rescue with rubber dubbers on it don't know why they put rubber dubbers as like a bonus thing on here but it's on here and uh, there's a disc it's great to be an engine uh, this is the VCI print not the uh, later hit entertainment re-release I do have that as well and um yeah, uh, the pamphlet's a little crinkled, but it's uh, it's alright. Just tells you the episode, so I might as well just show you like that. And there is the disc right there. Nice. Pulling together. Um, yeah, another VHS release as well. Um, don't have much to say about this one. It's just a Series 7 release. I actually had the carry case version of this when I was a kid. Don't have any more because I did have, did have a clear out at one point. But yeah, got a little pamphlet in there. And there is the disc. And um, yeah, very nice. Bumper Party Collection. For some reason, the VHS version of this is quite uncommon. But if you get one, congratulations. Uh, yeah, DVD version is very, is very common. You can get it for two quid on eBay if you're lucky. Maybe two pound fifty, something like that. And yeah, there's no pamphlet here, but I've got the disc, so nice job. The last one to be released on VHS in the UK. This is um, Calling on Engines. Uh, a lot of people don't like this one because of the um, the weird segments. Oh yeah, to entertain version here. And yes, yeah, there's sixty years all over it. And yeah, there is the to entertain version. I do have the other one, but you'll see that later on. Tales from the tracks. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a stain going on there, but it doesn't, really, doesn't really bother me too much. These, these are just on the shelf showing the spines. But, um, yeah. Got a little pamphlet thing here. Um, I'm going to stream it's just a bunch of, yeah, just a bunch of Thomas stuff in there. But here, here's the disc, and I might as well show you that there's a, uh, yeah, episode list there inside it. But, yeah, cool. Here I have a promotional variant of Tales on the Tracks. I don't know if, don't know if you can tell, but it's sealed. Um, so, I don't really want to open, oh yeah, it's a complimentary copy. Um, should I open it? Go on then, I'll open it. There's cellophane, I've took it off. And, um, yeah, here is the disc, first time me seeing it too. There you go, there is the disc for the complimentary copy, as they call it, for Tales from the Tracks. I do like that design a lot, to be fair. I do like it. Yeah, not bad. Together on the tracks, another one. That's Series 8, I believe. Yes, it is going to be Series 8. It's only just started. And there's no um, pamphlet, but we've got the disc. 
So, not bad. The Spirit of Sodor. I have no idea why there's a stain there, but there is. Um, that, I probably bought the second a while ago. Two Entertain version. I don't. I don't have all the two Entertain versions, but you know. Um, yeah, there's a bit of damage to the case. Not sure what happened there, but it's just damage. Doesn't really bother me too much though. I can still watch it. And yeah, Spirit of Sodor. Cool. I just opened this off camera because it was still sealed. I found this in a charity shop for a pound, brand new sealed. But here is the great discovery. Uh, I tried putting the sticker on there, but I didn't do the best job. I tried peeling it off and yeah, it's falling off already. But um, yeah, uh, I really, really love this film. And the, the song to end off the classic era was the best one to pick or the best one to write. And oh, this is, look at that. Brand new, fresh out of box. First time opened. Uh, yes, this is the disc. Very cool. Carnival Capers next. Um, I see this in HMV all the time. It's quite an overrated release, to be honest. It's like they tried to mar market this as something amazing. It, it's nothing to me, to be honest. But there's the disc. And I just I just realised the Chinese dragon's there. Is that what they're trying to market? I don't even have a clue, to be honest. Next up is a DVD I absolutely love. This is Songs from Sodor. 18 sing-along songs. I love this release. I watch it all the time. The songs on here, I mean, considering the episodes were quite crap, we had some, we've got some bangers on here. I know people might think some of these are bad songs. I mean, and to be honest, some of them are quite near, but a lot of them do pop off real good. But yeah, love this DVD. Heave ho, heave ho, you can pull but we won't go. Oh uh, yes, series 2, supposed to say 2 then, bloody hell, series 12 release. All new DVD, of course, and I believe this is the only series 12 DVD in the UK. Um, obviously we've got the full series, but... Um, yeah, nah, yeah, it's not the, it's not the best, is it, guys? No, but it, it is what it is, it is what it is. Here comes the first three DVD sets, the triple pack for All Aboard with the Steam Team, It's Great to Be an Engine, and Pete P. Paray. And if you're wondering why some of these releases I haven't been shown yet, it's because um, I don't own the two entertained versions. I only own the hit ones, which you'll see in a big box set later. And um, there's PP Parade. It's great to be an engine. And there's it's it's all aboard with the steam team. There you go. Hero from the rails, first ever CGI film here. And yeah, all new animation, as they say. And they weren't wrong. This is the I think I believe this was before series thirteen as well. Uh, yeah. Trying it out with the CGI. Um, it's an alright film. Um, I'm not a big fan of the CGI films myself. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the CGI era, but I've got a lot of CGI DVDs now. So, yeah, we move. Splish, splash, blosh. Meet Charlie. Ah, uh, do I really have to? He's a bit annoying, isn't he? 65 Years of Thomas. Soak up the fun. And there is the disc. Movie pack. We've got Calling All Engines, Great Discovery, and Here Are the Rails. Sorry, I stuttered there. And um, yeah, I only own it because of the packaging. But um, yeah, we've got Calling All Engines, Great Discovery, and Here Are the Rails. It's ideal. I mean, it was a good time to market it because, you know, everyone wants to buy all the movies, stuff like that. But yeah, there you go. Here I have the original copy and the re-release of The Best of Thomas. Uh, they re-released this in line with uh, Best of Percy and Best of James. But um, yeah, here's the front for them both. There's the spine for them both. Again, there's quite some notable differences. They replaced the 65 Years logo with Thomas and fonts changed and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, the backs, um, they pretty much look the same. Except for the well, well, they look the same, but then you look at the text. And I, I looked, I looked, I looked down here, but I didn't realize that was all different. But um, yeah, it, it, I mean, I, it's all right, I guess. I mean, let me just get the discs out. There's the original disc. There you go. And here is the re-release disc. Oh, and there you go. Nice one. Thomas and the Runaway Kite with um. Charlie on it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, there you go. Oh, will it open? Yes, it will open. 
There is the disc. Misty Allen Rescue, here we go. Yeah, uh, Bash Dash Ferdinand, Captain Harold, Fat Controller Thomas. Uh, yes, um, this has got a slip cover with it. If you can't see, like, it's got a really cool, uh, yeah, you can see like that. It's got that emboss effect. And um, yeah, I'll show you that spine as well. And um, let's see how well I can get this out. There you go, got it. Uh, there's the disc. I've definitely kept this disc in good condition, but the sleeves got a bit battered over time. And there is the disc. Cool. Back to model for some reason. We're on Christmas Express now. Um, yeah, this is just a bunch of Christmas episodes by the looks of it. I do like that picture of James and Thomas, but it looks very artificial, if you know what I mean. And um, there's the disc. Not much to say, to be honest. Creaky Cranky! Um, this... DVD is very overrated. I used to have loads of copies of this as a kid. Loads of copies. And I got rid of them all. And then I got another one because I got rid of them all. Oh yeah, R.A.P. Mr. Perkins. May he rest his soul. Creaky cranky there. There you go. Honestly, he was the main reason why I bought these DVDs. Because I fucking love watching him. Also, hopefully I didn't offend you. But yeah, rest in peace my guy. Adventure Pack. Hell yeah. Features, Tales from the Tracks, Little Engines, Big Days Out, and Together on the Tracks. So we're going back to model again, the looks of it. There is Together on the Tracks, uh, Tales from the Tracks, and Little Engines, Big Days Out. Wobbly Wheels and Whistles. Meet Scruff. They really did try push the meeting these characters um, scheme, didn't they? And there is the disc. Cool. The Lion of Sodor. Thomas and Percy look fucking mint on that. And... Yeah. I do like the design, but... It's a very boring series, isn't it? But... It is... It does look like a cool DVD, let's be real. Ah, Pop Goes Thomas. Yeah... Got Mr. Bubbles there being an NPC. Um, yeah. Mr. Perkins again. And, yeah. All that jazz. And there you go. There is the disc. Birthday Express. Fat Controller holding a Prezi. For Thomas, I suppose. Or someone. And, yeah. You can tell the format for these DVDs got very repetitive. Showing similar styles and stuff, but you know, it was the way they saw the DVDs, I guess. Day of the Diesels with a slip cover, kids go free Thomas Land. So, if you bought this, you got a free trip to Thomas Land, but that's the trick you're paying them to get a free trip. And then, um, there is the actual DVD itself, and there is the disc. Nice. Why are you showing a Blu-ray? It's a DVD collection. All right, hear me out. This is the only UK Blu-ray we got, all right? It's the only one we got, so chill out. I know it's a DVD collection, but hear me out. It's got a DVD in it, so hush. Anyways, Day of the Diesels, Blu-ray. Cost me £2 something on eBay. Uh, there you go. There is the DVD. There is the Blu-ray. All right. No more Blu-rays, okay? Merry Winter Wish! And um, it's a very um, average cover for a Thomas DVD. You know, we're in the, we're in the um, pump out these discs era, if you get what I mean. And here is the disc, if it lets me open the case, because this case is very uh, strong. Um, yeah. Cool. Thomas in charge, and um, he's done a very good job there with Gordon smashing into some trucks. <laughs> Funny. Um... Yeah, very similar to all the rest of them. Nothing appealing here, to be honest. There's Thomas and George. Up, up and away. Again, another DVD that has no value to me. Most of these CJ DVDs are just a load of shit. But um, I have them anyways because it's Thomas and autism needs to be satisfied. And yeah, completionist. That's pretty much it. 
Apologies if you keep seeing my leg on that, but it's what it is. Rescues on the rails. And um, Rocky on the back. Now, you're going to be surprised when I open this. It's a PlayStation 2 case, because I, I broke the original case years ago, and I've had a PS2 case lying around, so that's why it's got a PS2 case. Curious Cargo. Mm. Um, yeah, nothing too interesting about this one. Again, you've got this absolute milf. Um, and he's also here as well. Thomas is like... Hey yo, what's up, bro? Hey yo, you're chilling, my guy. You know what I mean, fam? I've just opened this off camera. This is the best of Percy. I actually had to buy this one to fill in the gaps. It's definitely brand new. It feels super smooth. Very, yeah, this is pretty much mint condition. Oh, it's got a little thing in there. Can't be able to show it, though. If you want to see it, well, so, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll be nice to you guys because you watch the videos. Mega Blocks! Woo! Oh yeah, Mega Blocks Thomas. And there's the disc. Also, before I move on to the next DVD, why is it worth £20 on Music Map Pie or whatever? Because, right, when I was looking this up, someone luckily had this up for sale, and it was a sealed copy. And I, I won it for just under a fiver. But everywhere else, like We Buy Books, Music Map Pie, all them companies, they were selling it for 20 to 25 quid. Can someone explain that? And don't be a nerd being like, well, actually, it's because they had no copies left. I just please just give me a straightforward answer if you've got one. Best of James. Again, same look as the other two, James and not James, Percy and Thomas. That's what I meant to say. Oh god, they're trying to push series twelve on air. Bloody hell! And um, there's the disc. I like the yellow case. Cool. Steam Team Collection with the three most mid DVDs ever, or just bad. I don't even know if you want to call them mid. I think mid's a compliment to these DVDs. I've got them anyways. Creaky cranky, creaky cranky, the runaway Kai and splish splash splosh. Sorry, why did I do that? Help me, God. Come and sing along. Blue Mountain Mystery. I can't sing it. But there you go. Blue Mountain Mystery, guys. Amazing. I've got to take this off as well. That's the only problem with the slip because I've got to show everything twice. And there we have the disc. Cool. Stop it, I know what you're thinking. Here we have shitty matters. Oh, sorry, muddy matters. Sorry, I got confused with the brown on the screen. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting kind of bored showing these. But don't worry, the next few DVDs are quite cool, even if they are just random. Edward and Gordon. Even though you're showing Henry and Gordon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, here comes the My Little DVDs. I believe they came out after that one. If I'm wrong, I don't care. Um... I don't like these discs. Very cheap, flimsy. I don't even bloody know what you want to call them. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Thomas and the Breakdown Train. Um, stock image. I think these are all got stock images, to be honest. Oh, look, same one again. Oh, so exciting. And again, that boring disc. Yeah, cool. Oh my god, they actually got a picture of Thomas and Bertie for this one. Congratulations, guys! You deserve a merit for that one. You you deserve you, de you deserve a pay rise for getting the right characters this time. And um, hi, guys! You can see my face in there. Um, yeah, that. Thomas in trouble. Is Toby the trouble? No idea. But very boring. I'm getting bored of showing these because my little stuff is boring. Thomas, Percy, and the Cole. I'm glad they got Thomas and Percy this time, and not the wrong characters, if you get what I mean. And um, there's the disc again. Nice. Percy takes a plunge. Wow. The only good thing about these tree size DVDs is they've got the restored episodes on it, but you could just buy the complete series DVDs. And um, yeah, there you go. 
A close shave. An episode about Duck and you put Thomas on the cover. Ah, oh, I wonder why. Did you forget to take some photos of Duck for this whole promo crap that you keep putting on everything? Probably. There is the disc. Average stuff, to be honest. Edward's exploit. You could have just had a picture of just Edward there, but you've got to have this fucker on it. Um, yeah, cool. Just nothing. Just nothing appealing, to be honest. It's, it's just your average. It's just, it's just a DVD. It's just a DVD. Do 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 do. Go go Thomas. Sadly. Oh look, another meet 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 the characters. Crap. Bloody hell. How many characters are we gonna meet? I don't even bloody have a clue. Uh, there's your disc. Yeah, you can tell I'm getting bored. Sodor's heroes. Wobbly wheels and whistles. Line of Sodor and Pop Goes Thomas. And yeah, average stuff. There's the one disc. There's the other disc. And here is the third disc. I need to spin that one that time. Also, just a disclaimer, if you're someone who does collection videos, can you stop reading out all the episodes? Because it just it just extends the runtime unnecessarily. Thank you very much. This was the reason why I didn't have Best of Percy and Best of James and Best of Thomas before, but I've got them now. This is the reason why I didn't have it before. But all all of them are in here. James Percy Thomas. Yeah, cool. I mean, it's a very good idea, but, you know, it's kind of boring. King of the Railway. Yeah, just a alright movie, I guess. I don't, I don't really have much to say. Just showing them off, because you want to see them. And I'm happy doing it. I'm happy doing it. It's just, when I'm showing stuff that I don't like, it's just... Gets, I, I don't dislike this, but you know what I mean? If I'm showing loads of DVDs that are boring, you get what I mean. Merry Christmas, Thomas, and Big Bang Surprise. Um, I did own the version without Big Bang Surprise, but I didn't see a point having both. But if you want me to get both, or the other one even, um, that's your problem. Uh, Big Bang Surprise first, because sod it, and Merry Christmas Thomas. See, it was very weird that they released this without an individual release. I mean, if, if, you, want, if, you, if, you, want, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, I kind of lied when I said I haven't got any more Carry Me DVDs, but this was from um, Thomas Land. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is. It's just it, it was something that you you film yourself in this little booth thing, and they and they stick you on this Thomas segment DVD. And um, yeah, just some random stuff. Uh, there is the disc. I'll give you a nice close up of that. And uh, come back again for free. No, the Thomas way. Why not the Caitlyn way? Why not the Gordon way? Or the Percy way? Or the Duck way? Or the Harold way? Oh, you, you know what I mean, man. Silly buggers. Thomas way. <laughs> Mate, Thomas never got his way because Mattel and Sharon Miller and CG... <laughs> spills and thrills. Sorry, thrills and spit. No, I don't even really know what the lyrics are. Yeah, spills and thrills. I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Um... It's actually a nice cover, back cover even, but um, it just goes downhill from here. Uh, there you go, there's the disc. Fish are awfully smelly. Really useless collection, sorry, useful collection. That was an intentional mistake before you think I said that on purpose, or accidentally. I was meant to say, yeah, you get what I mean. It's that. Ah, oh, I need to stop making jokes. I can't. I can't say correct. Um, Thomas in charge rescues on. Yeah, you, t you can tell I'm bored. I can't even make a joke without messing up my words. But cool. Tale of the Brave in a slipcase again. I don't have much to say about this movie, it's just a movie. And uh, yeah, there's a pamphlet in here. I don't, yeah. Just all this promotional crap for toys. Yay. Sanders Little Engine. So it stung James right back on the nose. <coughs> yeah, um, sorry, that was a crap reference. And um, yeah. I hope it's Santa the controller. <sighs> Trouble on the tracks. 
Hey, 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 what the f... Yeah, okay, okay. Hey, 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 what on earth is this? Trouble on the tracks? Yeah, I can see why it's called Trouble on the Tracks. You got, you got, you got, like, tr trucks acting like they've been... You, you, just, just stop it, quick. Stop it. Jurassic Park. Great movie. I'm joking. Dinos and Discoveries. <sighs> Sorry, what? Oh my god, it's so cool. Yeah, because dinosaurs, dinosaur train, dinosaur train. Here we have mental breakdown. I mean, railway mischief. Um, yeah, cinders and ashes. Such an iconic quote. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't even have much to say. They're just, it, it's just, this is just landfill. Like, I, I only have it because, because this, this thing, this thing, this thing. The adventure begins. Does it really? Does it really begin? Because I thought it began somewhere else. You know, adventure begins. Um, cake kit. I, I what? Straight and Manor again. But no, this is not where the adventure begins. You know where it begins? It begins here. Cassette 1 and Cassette 2. This is where it starts. Don't tell me it began all the way here. 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 Friends together. I don't know if you can tell, but looking at these DVDs is like looking at Skibbity Toilet on YouTube. It's just brain rot. Oh look, it's it's my dude. It's my it's my giraffe, bro. Uh, that and yeah, shit shit happens. That DVD, yeah. Fantastic friends with not one but two episodes. Exclusive to Smiths. Ah, uh, I was about to make a joke about it closing down. That was Toys R Us, wasn't it? Never mind. Um, yeah, using the, using Thomas to promote your crappy... You are a pirate, Lazy Town. Great DVD, I'm joking. This is Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. Yeah, I, I don't... You, you, know, you know what? Uh, I just want to get to the box sets, to be honest. But this is part of the uh, the rules. Get out of the... There you go. Sorry, uh, just so you know, guys, I don't hate this. I don't. I don't hate this at all. Like, you know, I. I, I don't. I don't hate this. I. I, I don't. I, I, like. Now, nah, to be honest, though, anyone who does a collection video and they've got to show off this, this, this. Okay, this isn't so bad, but but all of these, all of these, like mm! Christmas engines, and yet we've got enough, like. VHS releases of Christmas stuff, but you've got to keep pushing Christmas in our faces. Yeah, you got, you got to keep doing it There it is Oh, oh, oh Merry Shipmas First class stories um, Yeah, this exists Okay, let's let's quickly ret right decent 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 First class stories, my ass. It should have been a classic series only DVD. Yeah, that off. Oh, I forgot to show this, didn't I? If you're that bothered, here you go. Here you go, boys. Hey, there you go. Bloody hell. This kid is well and truly invested in in this, and 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 signals crossed. You know what I mean? It's boring. Oh look, a 3DS game. Uh, the only thing I'll give about this game is that it has um, instrumentals in in like a Nokia brick quality. It's um, it's great. Yeah, <gasps> you can get it at Amazon. That's, that's probably where most people buy their DVDs. You know, and they don't come on the release day, do they? Start your engines. There's the thingy. That. And that, 
Yeah. Also, YouTube, this is a vape. It's a vape. Fat bastard of a tail. I mean, I'm sorry, I mean whale of a tail. Here's a whale. Oh, toad so... I, I don't understand. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> so funny. More Drayton Manor landfill. Because we've got to keep pushing the same thing in every DVD. Every DVD. Every DVD. The shite race. I mean, great race. Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't offend the fanboys of this movie. Yeah, um... I just love how they just rinse the Shima in, like, Big or Big Adventures because, you know, foreign, you know, all over the cover, you know, everywhere. Like, they just made her a- they just made her a thing. You know, we need more female characters, yeah. Thomas's failed Christmas DVD. Um, yeah, another Christmas Carol thingy. I don't, I don't even bloody care anymore. <laughs> Uh, I've got Diesel, I'm surprised they have. They've got some snowman just staring at him like, what the fuck you doing, you prick? And, um... Yep. Full seam to the rescue. Like I care. Um, yeah. I mean, back cover's alright, but what the fuck is this? Thomas turning into this. We've got one of these. We've got Jeremy as well, but we don't use him anymore. Um... Yeah, cool. Uh, it's, yeah, it's cool. It's it's cool. The training people like making th making trains not trains. Like, oh, uh, oh, uh, it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there, bro. Sales from the rail. You know what? This cover's alright. Get get rid of Harold. I think it's alright. This would have been good without Harold because Harold's just there. Just 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 because he, he you know he's in the sky. Yeah. You get you, you get the problem, don't you? Now this back cover is pretty pain, but get rid of these pictures. That would have been perfect. All you need a friend. That song is crap. If you like all you need a friends, you need your ears tested because that that thing is the equivalent of someone farting directly down your ear roll. Hello, you wee old bastard. Extraordinary engines. Sorry, I didn't hear what I said before there. Um, yeah. Oh, we've got another boat because we need we need two. We need we need two, and we've got Harold again. Well, why is Harold like plastered everywhere now? You can't like is, a, is that a blimp, bro? All right. Oh, yeah, I kept the you've never seen on TV. The, the amount of times I say this to try and sell more fucking DVDs, man. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm watching this brain rot of a show. <laughs> Journey beyond can't comprehend. Um, yeah, this film's alright. It's not the best movie. It could be better. Come on, come on. It's not gonna come out. Come on, come on, come on. It's not. It doesn't want to come out, guys. I do apologize. Oh my god! Finally, got it out for you. Bloody hell! I mean, at least a slip. At least a slip cover works. That's a, that's a, that's a start. Ah, oh, here we go. The Journey Beyond Soda promo has begun. Ah, yes. They've got to shove all these books and crap in your face. Because they know you'll buy it because you're a child who likes chalk talking trains. Also, no hate. I mean, I get it, Thomas. But, like, what happened to when it was all this? You know, like, you know, like before, it used to be, like, proper good shit. Now we're just getting, now we're just getting this. You know, we, we're getting all this garbage. This shit never ends. It's team up with Thomas. Oh yeah, Harold again! He's like, you might as well call it Harold and Friends now because the amount of flipping sky appearances he has on these covers now. Honestly, I'd rather, I'm, I'm, I'd be more happy with this than this. <gasps> oh no, there's a fire! <sighs> Christmas on Soda, and after all of this time, they actually brought back a decent character. Terence. What a legend. You know what? That's the only good thing about this entire thing. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because they made the animated a snow beard on him. <laughs> funny. Ah, here we go. This motherfucker's here now. Everyone brace yourselves, boys. Oh dear. Oh dear. Down by the docks. I mean, danger at the docks. Bro. 
What the hell is going on here? Like, oh, Jesus. He's just like, hey, how's it going, boys? Thomas, shut up. No! Um, yeah. To be honest, though, I kind of understand why he looks like that. Because this entire thing, this, this entire, this entire crap is a migraine. It's a migraine, alright? It's a migraine. Help him. God, send help. Send help now. On the go with Thomas. Oh, dear me. That looks so tapped on and out of place. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, trying to, trying to make the big crash of the series to try and market the fuck out of it. Oh, Marcel! I didn't mean to press record and pause like that. Anyways, Big World Big Adventures, the movie. Uh, <laughs> new characters. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Pierre Andre did good in this movie. But that's all I've got to say. Will it come out? Probably not. Let's, let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, congratulations. You got your disc out. Woohoo. So exciting. Ah, of course, there's more flipping promotional crap. And, um, yeah, you, you forgot to put an ear on the cover. Why have you got another elephant? Bro, why have you got an elephant? Uh, sod it. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered to show that. I took it out because this is a janky box. There should be a Thomas Mini in there, but, um, I clearly lost it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I bought this brand new. Bit battered, this box. Um... Yes, there's nothing down here to see. There's nothing up here to see. It's just garbage. Uh, and there we have the actual thing that we want. The disc. Not some flipping promotional box thing. Oh, hell yeah. Got to market the new stuff as well. It's Smith as well. Fisher Price, all that. Yeah. All right, all right okay. I'll give him credit. The cover's not that bad, but it just looks so unrealistic. Monkey trouble, monkey, monkey, mon. Anyways, um, yeah, we've got monkeys here. Honestly, they're running out of Thomas ideas. They need to use monkeys and animals now to push it. More Drayton Manor landfill, yeah, and more Kratel. Uh, boring. A LGBT world. I'm joking. A colourful world. Yes, LGBT rights for life. I'm pansexual. Deal with it. Um, oh, yeah. These, these motherfuckers can fly now because Jeremy and Harold weren't good enough for the kids. Clearly. Appar apparently so. Apparently making trains fly is better than having Harold or something good. And you, you got this emoji face Thomas and no one likes it because it looks like shit. Digging more brain rot. Sorry, digs and discovery. Um... More characters that no one fucking wanted because it's just, it, it's like Skylanders. It died and fell off because there's too many characters to buy. So, you know, no one's going to buy all the little figurines and stuff. Like, no person with the right brain is going to buy everything, right? <laughs> uh, except for the, except for certain people, you know what I mean? Steam team to the rescue. Oh yeah, I kept the, I kept the, I kept the sticker. Nice one. Uh, yeah, cover's boring. Yeah... Oh, yeah, this kid's enjoying, enjoying his little Thomas. He's enjoy, he's enjoy, he's enjoying it, lads, he's enjoying it. Uh, Thomas meets the Queen, or oh, Pain Pots and Queens. Sorry, the Royal Engine, I am so sorry I got that wrong. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Why did they give this a slipcover? Mm. Oh, God, this is going to be a fucking... See what I mean? Like, this is why I don't like flip covers! You... Oh, man. Am I, am I really going to pause the recording for the foot? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the recording. Fucking stupid thing. Anyways, um, Royal Engine. So sorry if, if my boredom's annoying you guys, but this is just depressing, isn't it? There we go. Oh, the same thing again! Yeah! Yeah, 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 wee! Oh, sorry. Well, ah, oh, fucking, they went on the floor. By the way, if you're triggered at me throwing my DVDs, these are like these are like flimsy as hell. So another one that I kept. Jesus Christ, they were they were proper pushing seventy five years onto this thing. Oh, 
What the hell is that? What was that? That's Tiger Moth. Ooh, 75 years! And it just looks like it just looks like they're trying to be Big Little Big Adventures again, to be honest. It, it, it is Big Little Big Adventures though, isn't it? It is Big Little Big Adventures. It is, it is! No longer about soda engines, it's about marvellous machinery. Just, just look. Hello, hello, it's little robots and um the fuck is that? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is this is where cancer really shows. It, it, it shows. Oh no, it's this fucking plague where everything has the same fucking stuff. Oh man, guys, you're gonna love the next few discs. I'm telling you, landfill engine. Sorry, super engine. Um. Oh! Oh! See, see, Thomas is now a fucking elephant because he. No one wants. To see. Oh, here we go. Another one. Oh dear, just see. I feel sorry for this kid because they're playing with this whilst also having to watch this. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, more animals, more animals. It's it's Thomas and animals. This now it's it's not even Thomas and friends no more. But um, monkey and um, ayo is is Thomas converted race. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, oh, what the fuck is this shit? And, uh, oh yeah, same disc again, just with a different logo. Oh, you, you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? This is this is this is the example of pure shit. If you can happily sit there and even give this any good reason why it's somewhat good, please leave the fandom. Um, anyways, I'm not part of the fandom. I just fucking do this for for um for you lot. That's what I do. Anyways, um, just garbage. It's that much. It's that garbage. I won't even. Fuck it. it. Oh fuck me. It's it's gone. It's gone back in. Come on. Oh fuck this. I'm doing it again. Finally got the trash out of the can. Um. Yeah, we've got we've got we've got this. We've got this. Oh look, same style again, but it changed it to. Oh, there's there's just paper. It's just trash. I don't care what's in here. I don't care. Hello, I'm Thomas. <laughs> Guys, I've got some amazing news. We're finally out of the cancer range. Uh, we've got something good here. We have complete series one to five box set. Oh, yay. I'm so happy we've got some good shit. Oh, man. It took so long. It took so long. Um, Right. Tell you what, I've got I've got another box set. I will show you the discs in that one instead because there's more to show you. So, but yeah, this is the one to five box set. Um, finally, some good shit. Not that CGI garbage. Series one to seven box set. This one's like worth sixty quid online. Um, I'm going to do this. So stop the discs from falling out before I ask them to. Um, oh, bloody hell! There's a rip in it, by the way, but I don't care too much. Uh, one to seven. And thing at the bottom. Right, let's do this one step at a time. Season one. Please ignore my foot. I do apologise if you don't like feet. Um, we have a pamphlet and one there. Uh, just pop it on there. Season two. Pamphlet there as well. Turn it round. There we go. Series three. Whoops, the box fell. I don't care. Come on, pamphlet and disc three. Or season season three, whatever. Right, let's just uh try and get this over done with. Uh fourth series. Cool. Uh, we've got we've got a few more to go. Season five, my favourite season. Oh bloody hell! Uh, okay, here we go. Yep, nice one. Series six. Pamphlet as well. And lastly, for this part, we have series seven. I'm not a big fan of series seven, but. At least it's classic. Pamphlet there and the disc. Yeah, complete pretty much. Bang it. Series 8. 
you've got to have it. That's it. There's no pamphlet this time, but I, I, I don't really care. Season 9. That is a weird choice of colours for the back. Yep, there you go. Nice. Right, I know I was going to open them all, but um, the next few, the Series 1 to 7 2012 releases, I'm not going to open. I don't want to open them, so apologies if you want to see the discs for them. You can probably see them on eBay. But um, yeah, I don't want to open them. But there's Series 1 for you. Series 2. Cool. Series 13. Sorry, 3. Sorry, I don't know why I said 13. I'm, I'm, I'm fried. I've been doing this for, over, for nearly an hour. But yeah, there's series four. There's there's series three, three series four. Favorite season again, season five. Series six. And series seven. Like I said, I apologise for not opening them, but I don't want to open them because I like how they're sealed. If I choose to open them, I might show them in the future, depending if I do a future video of this. Alright, we're on this big giant box set. Uh, many people cr criticise this for being bad. I think it's an alright box. Yeah, they could have done a better job of designing it. Uh, let's just flip it around for you. Yeah, and if you want to see the bottom of it... Um, there you go. Anyways, let's get onto the DVDs inside of it. Season 1. Series 2. Series 3. Series 4. Series 5. Series 6. And yes, I've noticed that the engine with the same number is with them, or well, with Thomas. But, yeah. Series 7. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. We're, we're nearly done. I, I'm also tired because I'm sat up the whole time. But we're getting there. Series 8 from that so-called era. Series 9. Oh, sorry, we'll just record in one. Series 10. And lastly, Series 11. Series 12. Everyone's favourite. We all love this series, don't we, guys? Mm hmm. There's the disc. Unnecessary slipcover series 13. Series 14. Series 15. Sixteen seventeen eighteen. 
18, which features this sack of shit. Oh, just, there you go. 19, again with more landfill. And there's the um, Dale Thomas thing, if you care that much. And Emoji Era Series 20 with more shit in it. Right, not long left. Um, I've got this double pack from a charity shop for a pound. Uh, bargain, I think. I don't know how common these packs are, but I might as well just show you the discs in it. Pamphlet included. Pamphlet included. Yeah, good stuff. Ultimate Collection. Got these DVDs in it. And there's the inside of the box. Now let's move on to the DVDs. All aboard with the Steam Team. Just your box under Series 8. You know what I mean? Great to be an engine. Hit version. PP Parade. Also on VHS. Calling all shit bags engines, I mean. Tails on the tracks. Little Engines Big Days Out. Thomas's Trusty Friends. Together on the tracks. On track for adventure. And the last one here is Engines and Escapades. Here we have a promotional Calling All Engines disc in here. It's part oh, it's part of this um, book. Yeah, just thought to show that. Sticky Toffee Thomas with the disc in here. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you know what it looks like. If I just that's for disc for you. Cool. And the last book with DVD is Follow That Flower. Finally, we've got some promo DVDs to show. Shouldn't take long. Uh, it's got two exclusive episodes on it. And here is the disc. Cool. Edward, Trevor and the Really Useful Party and Thomas and the Rumours. Oh, come on, you... There you go, there's, there's the disc. Cool. Thomas and Gordon, Percy's Promise. It will come out. It will, it will come out. I'll make it come out. Get out, you... Bugger. There you go. You can do it, Toby, and three cheers for Thomas. Best of friends, or best friends and heave over Thomas. Oh, I haven't even showed you the back yet, bloody hell. So, for some reason, there's a, there's a number on it. Oh, look it out. And there you go. And that's it for this video. Yes, it was over an hour long, but other than that, 
that's all of my Thomas DVDs for the UK. It's a very lengthy collection. And I do apologise if any language in this video was to harm or to hurt anyone. That was not my intent. Um, I was just trying to be funny. And, yeah, it came off as a bit like, oh, I hate Thomas, but I, I really don't. I mean, yes, I love owning these DVDs. I just hate the fact that they exist. And the fact that the, the show went downhill coming from here. But, yeah, I just wish there was more DVDs like... You know, like the VHSs we've got, you know. But, you know, there's still one more thing we need to get done. I wonder what that could be. Well, we shall find out in another video. Bye.